Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the new HDOS beta client and um, just comparing it to the current HD RuneLake client. Um, so just to get right into it, I'm just showing you guys just a brief little um, comparison here. This is the classic, of course, right? Classic graphics. Uh, if you look at the water, it just looks like the old school days. Um, this is HD's client and then the next one will be beta. Uh, for some reason, I like the water in the Runelite one. I'm not sure why. But I think with Stanley coming out, whoever has the cooler water, obviously, um, it's going to be a winner in my books. This one actually looks like an ocean. Like a, like a murky, like, New Jersey ocean going on here. But, um, yeah, so I'm doing uh, Tombs of the Masket on HDOS, which I wouldn't recommend after doing it. Um, right now, I would just stick with, like, you know, basics. Um, you know, just scaling, maybe doing some like forest tree, okay. But um, I decided to join a TOA mass, random bunch of randos, and um, shortly in the next clip here coming up, which is right now, this was my first uh, encounter with TOA here with this fucking annoying ass sound. I don't even know where that is, I don't even remember this when it came out, but. Um, yeah, so I, I had to mute that, but here's Zebak, and overall, okay, like, I don't know what I was expecting, it, this, I think this is just a pretty basic, you know, I don't know if they even touched anything up here yet, but, um, yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm literally just struggling with my own dick here, uh, you know, prayers, uh, I, I would say the prayer switching wasn't bad, it was more of like, um, go like swapping like different, uh, like, like to range and mage. I don't know why my brain can't fucking think right now, but going from like range mage to melee, um, definitely wasn't fun at all, especially later. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the client that was lagging me. And when I got to P1 and P2 warden, um, yeah, it was like a disaster. Like, I I felt like I was on, like, Venny Internet. But, I mean, throughout this fight, Zemak, it wasn't bad. Like, um, I'm not sure if they were to touch anything, but, like, in general, like, this was doable. So, I'm just gonna, you know, fast forward the clip so you guys can watch. Alright, so, Caffrey was probably, this was not ready, like, this, this is still in the making here, um, I must have missed the memo, because this is probably the only time where I was able to see Caffrey, and then she just disappeared for the rest of the fight, um, <laughs> I told the team, I was like, yo, guys, like, am I like this new client, can't click anything, you know, good, you know, have all the points you need here, but, um, yeah, so, other than that, fight, like, worked, but, as you can see, when it comes up, Caffrey's just gonna disappear for me, and that made me a little bit worrisome for the next whole part of the raid. Alright, so, uh, here's Akka, and this whole time, I was just like, uh, there's no fucking way, like, you know, he's gonna disappear on me, and he didn't. So, I was really happy when I got in, I was able to attack him. Um, with this one was, uh, I, I don't know, like, what the biggest problem was with this one. Um, 
I mean, obviously, once I got to the last phase, I wasn't able to click them. So, spoiler alert there. But, I think what I was thinking was, like, these, like, Shadow Akers were going to be um, invisible as well, where I wouldn't be able to hit them. And, I'm, I'm not sure what else I was thinking. I was just hoping, the, like, this fight would work, okay? And, uh, you know, since it's still in the beta version, um, the last the last phase was a little wonky. It gets a little, a little intense. But, um, yeah, I was just practicing, you know, my walking simulator at that point. But, I mean, overall, like, you know, looks pretty basic. No, like, big touch-ups, right? Like, I I'm assuming they haven't gotten into it yet. But, you know, I, I would assume once the team gets to, like, you know, Zabak, Capri, Akka, and so on and so forth, like, everything is going to look really nice. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so, um, at this point, I was having, like, you know, I, I was just like, fuck, dude. And, um, only thing I could do was just not die, right? So, <laughs> it's like, I know where it's going, but it, it, it's just like, I, I have to, if I put a thrall down, I'm just fucking my team. So, I, I thought, like, okay, let me just make it look like maybe I'm lagging and just practice, like, dodging the white things, you know? So I don't, I don't have anything good here to say, like or negative. I, the whole time I was doing this, I was praying to God that the um, the roll of call out would not go to me because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to call out and that would really fuck the team. So I was thinking about just committing suicide, but I was just like, dude, like if I click more, then that's more DPS and that's the faster we get to the 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 Baba phase. So, that, that was my whole thought process here, and it's one of the reasons why, out of all the puzzle rooms, I include this one. But, um, yeah. So, you're probably at this part of the video, and you're like, well, you know, they, they haven't done anything different yet with, you know, all the bosses. And, so, I mean, Baba's the same. It, they, it doesn't really look like they worked on it yet. But... I guess this video is going to be cool when they do release something else and I can go back and just see like, oh yeah, like, this is what it looks like before and versus now. Um, but, I mean, regardless of that, the whole fight worked. Um, I was lagging the entire time. It was super difficult and I just was like, I already forgot my fucking throw out, you know, don't even remember what invocations are on anymore. Um, so yeah, but other than that, you know, fight work, um, and yeah. All right, so this is where everything starts getting fucky here. Um, I'm lagging really bad, and I'm just saying to myself, as long as I'm not griefing, we're good. So everything here is muscle memory. Um, I'm not sure. If the recording software is going to pick up on the lag. But, I mean, once I get past phase one here and go on to phase two, everything starts, It, it it's like I'm, I'm in Venezuela. And it's not fun. So, other than that, um, I was definitely off my groove here. And I'm pretty much just following the basics and mechanics. And just in general, right, you, you can see this hasn't been worked on yet. I mean, everything is just very big. This looks like a 90s office room or something, okay? It's just very, like, bleh. So, I think once they start getting... I, I, I have faith that once they get to this part of the raid, it's going to look really nice. And I'm really excited to see. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to skip over to uh, a little bit over Phase 2. Um, because, you know, 
It's just phase two, and it's just nonsense. So, I'll see you in the good part here. Alright, so going into the last phase, I'm a little bit pumped up, and I'm like, went through all this lag, I definitely could do it, and then, I mean, I, I guess this is like, the surprise, where I couldn't do P3 Warden, but I still wanted my loot, so I just go over to Rune Light, log in, and that's about it. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, and you want to check out HD OS. I'll put a link in the, um, the description box. But as of right now, um, they have worked on a lot of the game already. So I would check it out. But at this point, I wouldn't try out any... I haven't ch uh, tried out Tob. And I don't like doing Chamber, so I'm not going to do that. But for TUA, everything just looks the same. Looks basic. It looks like it's in the works. So I wouldn't worry about going over here. But if you want to, go for it. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching.